victory through. There is nothing that will overtake us. If God is for us, who can be against us? You know, we we'll look at situations, and often things we're, 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 over, we're, we're overwhelmed by the situations. We we'll look at the, the bank book and overwhelmed by the fact that we've got, we're, the, the, the world going is greater than what's coming in. So, if God is for us, who can be against us? Who's for us? God. You know, we've got to get that understanding in our heart. God's for me. Here and there. We've seen healings and signs and wonders here and there. We've seen breakthroughs here and there. But I tell you, I know that I know that I know that the breakthrough is about to come, yeah. that the power of God is about to fall, and the peer ahead is going to be transformed. Then Elijah said to Ahab, Go up, eat and drink, for there is the sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. Then he bowed down on the ground and put his face between his knees. And he said to his servant, go up now and look toward the sea. So he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. And seven times he said, go again. And then it came to pass the seventh time that he said, there is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea. So he said, go up, say to Ahab, prepare your chariot and go down before the rain stops you. Now it happened in the meantime that the sky became black with clouds and wind and there was a heavy rain. So Ahab rode away and went to Jezreel. Then the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he girded up his loins and ran ahead of Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. You know, I'm reading here about the prophet Elijah and if ever I felt like the prophet Elijah, I feel like the prophet Elijah today. Because the thing the prophet Elijah felt right there that we've just said was that he knew that the rain was going to come. They were in drought, they were in famine, they were in lack. There was no signs whatsoever that the rain was coming, but there was something on the inside of them that he knew it was going to come. There was something about the prophet Elijah that he knew that the rain was going to fall. There was something on the inside of him that says, regardless of what I see, regardless of what's happening around me, I know that the famine and the lack is over. You know, this is how I feel today. Right. Our being ahead is going to be broken. Yes, I know the so lack is Lord. over. I know the dryness is over. Yes. And I know that I know that it is time for the rain from heaven to yes. fall and for there to be an incredible outpouring of God's spirit. I know that it's time for the power of God yes. to fall. I know that it's time for it to pour. I know that it's time for families to yes. be transformed. Mm -hmm. I know that it's time for a breaking through. I know that it's time for the abundant rain to come and for an outpouring of the miraculous miracle yes. signs and wonders to happen upon our earth. I absolutely know that it's yes. time. You see, it's time for it to happen in your ministry. It's time for it to happen in your life and in your family. The situations you've been asking God about, praying about, praying about, never seeing a breakthrough. The people you've been believing for, the sicknesses you've been pressing and believing for breakthrough for, even within our church, within your families, within our community, I'm telling you, it is time. But this is a key to bring it. And this is what we need to do. First Kings 17, verse 1. This is what I really feel is one of our keys to see this bring and usher this rain um, to come upon the earth. It says in 17, first Kings 17, verse 1. And Elijah the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead said to Ahab, Listen to this, as the Lord God of Israel lives before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years except at my word. Here was Elijah prophesying, declaring, in the midst of the drought, in the midst of the lack, 
that the only way that the rain was going to fall was going to be according to Elijah's word. And I really feel that that is significant for us, church, that it's going to be according to our word, because our word is so powerful, our word is so effective, and it is going to be according to the word of God's people, calling forth, being hungry, being desperate, being passionate, being determined, refusing to be moved, and calling for the rain of heaven to come down. You see, it's according to Graham's word, it's according to Auntie Jeannie's word, it's according to Julian and Eddie's word, the way need to be a people that we might be in lack, we might be in drugs, you might feel in famine, you might feel everything is going wrong, but you need to realise that your words have power, and you need to realise that you can change what's happening in your family by the words that you speak, you need to realise you can change what's happening in your workplace because of the words that you speak, you can change things in your ministry, you can change things in, the, in this community according to what we say.